Alright, so in this video we have an easy casino chips glitch. This is not the frozen chips glitch, so you will not get banned. We recently hit 1k subs, so thanks for all the support. Did you know that 95% of you are not subscribed? If that's one of you, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe for the latest GTA Online content. So yeah, this is a very simple glitch. It has been out since the casino came out. Many people know about this, so if you already know this glitch, you can just click off now. But basically, I'm doing this because apparently not a lot of people know in the newer type of GTA community for new players. This video is based for you so you can get your money up quickly. You can go and acquire chips from the reception over here or you can do it from inside your penthouse. So yeah, this is a very old method of making money but it works. You can go to the slot machines, you can go to the inside horse track and do horse betting from there. And you can also go down to the actual high limits tables, which is roulette, blackjack and free card poker. Now you want to actually have your spawn location on casino penthouse. And you also want to change your outfit from when changing it so that it saves. This so every time you have to disconnect internet or close app, it will load you back into your penthouse. So I'm going to start a glitch in my penthouse. I actually prefer using free card poker, but... Blackjack is also very good when doubling down. They're the two that I normally use, but you can literally use any one of the mentioned before. Alright, so all you need to do for this is sit down at one of the tables. So I'm just going to quickly save before sitting down. You know that you're game saving when you get the orange circle in the bottom right. And then, so once you've sit down, you just want to place a bet. Now, it really doesn't matter. You just want to place a bet. So I'm just going to speed this up. This takes normally around... 5 to 10 seconds for the actual dealer to get the cards out ready. So, you don't even really need to look at your cards to be fair. You just want to put the highest amount of bet down so you can maximise the amount of money that you are going to be getting from this glitch. So this right here, I just made 75k. So what you want to do when you win a bit of money, you want to get out of the chair and you want to change your outfit or an accessory so that you can save the game once again. From here, all you need to do is sit back down in the chair you got out of and just make another bet. It's this simple. So I'm actually going to show you what to do when you actually lose. So conveniently, I lost this bet. So I didn't even look at the cards this time because there's no point. You can just bet as much money as you need to. So I just wait for the dealer to put the cards down and I just place my money on there without even looking at the cards. So I actually lost this, as you can see. So I disconnected my internet. You can either disconnect your internet or close that, but I find that disconnecting your internet is way faster. Now, you can do this by unplugging your router or disrupting your Wi-Fi connection, however. On PS4, you can actually uh, do the connect to internet thing, which it's basically, if you double tap your PS button, you can create a hotkey. So what I do is I go to the connect to internet page, I double tap the PS button, and what you'll notice is if you double tap the PS button again, it'll take you back onto the connect internet from in the game. So that's what I did. I got onto this connect to internet page here, double tap my PS button, it puts me back in the game. And then when I'm ready to close up, well, disconnect the internet, I just double tap and then I can quickly disconnect my internet like that. If you're on Xbox, I'm sure there's a method that's similar where you can just use your router. If you're on PC, it's the same for that. And then basically, once you learn story mode, you just want to start up GT Online again. And since we sell our spawn to the penthouse, you'll just load straight into your penthouse like this. And my game froze there for a sec. I don't know why. I guess it's the FPS or something. But from here, you can actually just see I've got my 75k chips. I haven't lost the chips from the betting. I can just go and bet again. But I'm not going to do that because I'm only doing this as an example. I'm not actually trying to make money right now. So what you want to do from here is just exit the actual penthouse area and go into the casino. This is because I want to actually uh, show you where you can actually trade in your chips if you're actually very, very new to this game. Don't know where. It's actually where you can acquire the chips as well. It's at the reception. So once you've got a nice amount, let's say around a million, you can literally make a million. You can make, depending on your look, you can literally make millions in a day in GT Online from doing this glitch. Now, as I said, this is a very old glitch, which is why most people know about it. This, this is why... This video was mainly for like newer people or people that just didn't know about this. So you can just trade in your chips. You probably want to grab the visitor bonus of 1k as well and then trade in the chips. And then it'll turn it from chips into actual GT Online money. 
If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more GTA Online content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.